It's sad to actually say, but beloved Minister of Labour and National Security and also Member of Parliament for North East St. Anne has passed away today, Minister Shaheeni Robinson. Now, throughout this discussion, I might say Shaheen Robinson. I know that upsets a lot of people, so I might as well say Minister Robinson. Minister Robinson was battling with cancer and has been in and out of the hospital since 2018 and in a post on Facebook made by her niece said quote she isn't very well but she's very much alive unquote. Yesterday Nationwide 90FM made a post on Instagram stating that the minister fell critically ill and is being treated in her home or was being treated in her home in St. Anne. Upon hearing the news of her deteriorating condition, she was visited by Prime Minister Andrew Wallace and the Minister of National Security, which is Horace Chang. Now, her death came shockingly to most of us, or as a surprise, because we weren't expecting to hear the sad news, or we weren't aware of the condition that she was in. Minister Robinson's death, however, is the second in her family in recent times. Her younger brother Peter Fakori, yeah, passed away last year, October, due to an undisclosed illness at the age of 62. Now, Mr. Fakori was a successful businessman and also a JLP candidate. And she's also the second minister to pass away while in office in successive governments. Now, successive governments is basically a term used to describe two opposing parties, JLP and PNP basically. My condolences go to the family of Minister Robinson. She was somewhat known as a community woman in the, in the whole Garden Parish and has contributed to the Jamaican government and society inside and outside of her constituency. So my condolences to the family. Shaheen Robinson, Member of Parliament, St. Anne Northeast. The constituency that I have the privilege to represent is a very important constituency because our first national hero, the right excellent Marcus Mosiah Garvey, was born in this town. His boyhood home where he grew up is in St. Anne's Bay on Marcus Garvey Way. The reason I'm talking to you today is because an online petition has been started for the expungement of his criminal record for mail fraud in the United States of America. I believe that it is incumbent on every Jamaican who can sign, who has access to computer, to log on to the website and it is justice number four Garvey, justiceforgarvey.org. It's very easy, just log on.